Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe, maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yes, yeah, somebody wants me. One thing we discussed in the past is about if you're at college and you've got an example I use is clones. Mm -hmm. Same students, same academic profile. They look the same, same height, same skills. But one kid goes to a prep school and one kid goes to a public school. Who is a college going to gravitate towards more? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we discussed this recently. You said majority of the time they're going to take the prep school kid. Explain why that would be the case. Yeah, so, you know, the the history, number one, of private schools and these boarding schools, uh, specifically in New England, just from my experience, living in, in Boston is they were, they were created as sort of pre-prep, as a, a way to prep for college, for the most competitive colleges. And so the idea is that while public schools, and there are excellent public schools all over the country, there's no, I'm not trying to make a point that public schools aren't good. It, it's just the, the um, emphasis on academics, the emphasis on um, extracurricular, um, activities that are available at a, at a boarding school, for example, um, and the opportunity uh, to be in an environment where other kids from different backgrounds go to school that share sort of the same academic level of interest and, and focus. Um, colleges appreciate that. And so they know, for example, historically, that kids that are coming out of these boarding schools tend to be better prepared. Um, and it, it's more about time management. Um, so for the, you know, the kid that's coming out of a public school where they have a class of 40 students uh, or 30 students in their, let's say an English class, you're going into a private school, you're in a class of you know, 12 to 15 max um, at these schools and some even smaller. And so as a result, the expectation level for kids that are going into these uh, private schools because they're selective because they're more expensive um, is uh, the, the expectation level is higher. And so for a lot of these colleges, um, especially for, for some of the top schools, the expectation level is that kids that are coming out of these boarding schools are, are better prepared and have better balance because they've taken arts, because they've been involved in leadership, because they're expected to be involved in community service as a part of their graduation requirement. And so as a result, you know, a kid that maybe has zero interest in uh, volunteering or community service or getting involved in leadership, um, all of a sudden has that opportunity given to them at a boarding school. And as a result of that, they end up being able to manage their time and contribute, I think, in more ways to, in college than, than you might be able to in a school where it's, you, you just don't have that option available.